Welcome back. When it comes to winter storms, here we are. Are you doing everything you really can to get ready for heavy snow and prevent possible weather damage to your home and property? Gear up ahead of time with expert uh, pre preparation tips, I should say. Ron Weingart, it's good to see you again, sir. Yeah, you as well. We saw you in the spring. Now here we are, second day of winter. Andrew says it's going to snow. Usually that means I start looking for my shovel. That's not a good way to prepare. Let's start down here. Chainsaw, what do you? What does that have to do with anything well, with snow? Yeah, the chainsaw, you know, with the, the, the snow, with the weight of the snow on the limbs. Yes. Um, I mean, a lot of times you have those falling on your house. On so the house. On right. the house. So Not power lines, leave that to correct, the Correct, leave that to the experts. Over right. the house, that could be very dangerous. Right, so you want to try to get that done before the snow comes. Good so idea. we've got some nice weather this weekend. be a good time to get that done. A lot of folks have been use, utilizing leaf blowers this fall, but what's, that, what's this have to do with snow? Well, the, these you can add attachments, gutter cleaning attachments. You want to make sure your gutters are cleaned out because if you don't have that, the water can't flow through your gutters. You can get some ice buildup on the roof and cause possible roof damage. Yeah, ice buildup. So it's a good time sure. to get, so you can get up there very safely and blow, blow, blow it out there and then sweep it up. Correct. Yep. These things are big. I've always wanted to invest in one. Here we are, a generator here. This one's from Honda. You says it's a, uh, you say it's about $999. Correct. Tell us about this one. This is a 2000 watt. It's extremely quiet. So what's nice with this, this will run kind of the, the necessities in the house, keep your furnace going, a few lights, refrigerator. Um, but it's also nice, it's extremely quiet, so you can also use it for camping, so it adds a little versatility. It's nice and compact. I would assume it's pretty easy to use, even for a kind of a beginner like yep. me. Yeah, very sure simple. it's outside of the house. Correct, yeah. We have seen minor snows, or a, and then we've seen a couple power lines down, and then we've seen people without power for days. So this would be a good idea. This would be a great one. And there are larger ones if you want to kind of power up the whole house. But this is a, this is kind of a nice small uh, one to cover the necessities. Right. Working yep. down the line here, we have got gas can and fuel mix. Yeah, so this is a pre-measured fuel. A lot, of the, a lot of the fuel, if you don't use a lot of your small two-cycle equipment, this is just pre-measured and is added with stabilizers. So this has a shelf life of two years. Okay. Um, so it's kind of an, an easy way. Uh, Take if you're the not guessing out of mixing. Quick, Correct. Quick fuel to fuel. And you've got it. And then the, the key is uh, just to have fresh fuel. Fresh fuel. Yep. That's the thing. The biggest mistake people make this time of year, if they have a snowblower, is they haven't made sure it's ready to go before the snow. Correct. Yeah, a lot of times people hear about the snow coming, and that's when they pull the snow out, but it's kind of too late. So you need to get it out ahead of time. Uh, make sure it starts, everything runs fine. A lot of times... Fresh fuel. Yeah, a lot of times people leave the old fuel in it and it could cause problems. So add some fresh fuel, make sure everything works and kind of get it ready before the snow comes. So let's talk about this one real quick here because you've got the state of the art. This is a, you say this is your smallest gas powered. Correct. Load. There are electrics when they're smaller, but this is a small gas, but it's very powerful for a small driveway. This will do a great job. But then they make machines, this is an 18 inch, they go to 21 and then you can get into the larger uh, self-propelled blowers. The price on this one? Three ninety nine. You and say that, the reliability is excellent. Excellent. They've come a long ways in the last eight or ten years. Um, they really are extremely reliable today. Boy, if I was a teenager again, I would try to save up for one and then do <laughs> everyone's yep. driveway, and you would make your money back just very quick. quick. Yep. Great advice as always, Ron. Yep. Thank you so Thank much. You.